Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Horny Goat. This is Goat Limited Edition Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter. Brewed in Wisconsin, darling. It's 6.5% alcohol, y'all. And it's 55 IBU hearts. Now this beer uses the following ingredients. Dark malts. That's all I know because that's all they say on the website. But I'm presuming chocolate and peanut butter. But sometimes you could be wrong because it says here, beer with artificial flavor added. So more than likely, it's some kind of something that tastes like peanut butter and chocolate. But um, that being said, we hoping it's good. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate Hearts, and it gets an 88, so B plus <coughs> on Beer Advocate, an 88 out of 100, 86 out of 100 for the style and rate beer, so pretty high scores from a company who produces beer at Stevens Point, Wisconsin, that doesn't normally get very high scores. This beer was introduced in 2014. to the best of my knowledge. Okay. Now if you get a Stevens Point beer, they usually have the same type bottle, but they'll be out. It's twist cap, not a pry cap. I'm talking about for their regular beer like the Stevens Point premium lager. I can already smell chocolate. Already. It's a very strong aroma. Now my daughter paid a whole lot for this bottle. Some store, some specialty store, like an incredible amount of money, and I was like, why'd you do that? They have it at Matherns for $2.49 a bottle. Cheaper with the six pack. Ooh, a thick beige head. In another video, I was looking at a head this color, and I say it was cream colored, but no, that's beige. Cream color would not be that dark. And um, it's dark, dark brown. It looks black, but um, with the light, it's kind of cloudy outside. With the, with the light, you can see the brown highlights. Let's go with the uh, aroma on this beer. <clears throat> I had the Terrapin chocolate peanut butter porter. It was okay, but it wasn't chocolatey enough and it wasn't peanut butter enough. This one is really <laughs> a rich aroma of peanut butter and chocolate. It is probably, I guess it really is, the best peanut butter or chocolate porter I've ever smelled. And I haven't really had too many. They don't, they don't really make too many, I don't guess, but might be artificial flavors, but it smells real. If you didn't, I would think it was real stuff if I, if I didn't know better. Let's go with the flavor. So the, the aroma is an A+. plus. The appearance is a, at least an A, and the taste tastes like it has salt in it. You know, like peanut butter has salt in it, right? <laughs> this is a salty beer. Air mobile, son. Um, this is a salty beer. Um, it kind of reminds me of that shock top twisted pretzel. It has some pretzel like um, aspects. Definitely like a chocolate covered pretzel with some background peanut butter, dark roasted barley malts, the salt, brown bread crust, the mouthfeel is medium, medium, medium mouthfeel. Um, Kind of a wet finish, a little acidic. The drinkability is pretty good, not super drinkable. You wouldn't want to drink a lot just because it's so strange, you know, it's like a novelty beer. 55 IBUs, I am really detecting that. It is a, this is a pretty bitter beer. It tastes like bitter coffee, like really dark roasted coffee. Maybe with chicory, but sometimes the chicory will smooth the coffee out. 
just really bitter, no sugar added. Like if you have coffee, you just drink it black. It's like really acidic. Maybe like um, RT Dark Roast from uh, Riley Foods. Their coffee is really dark. It's like black. It's not dark roast, it's black in the bag. It's really good, but it's gotten so expensive these days I don't buy it anymore. But um, This is really an oddball beer. It's hard to figure out. And I was talking with Harry Meadows, the beer guy, and he was. we were talking about different beers, and we were saying how there's so many that we like, but we really wouldn't want to drink them. <laughs> like sour beers, and I was saying Saisons. I always like them, but I never want them. If I never had another Saison, it sure wouldn't bother me. If I never had another sour. If I never had this again, I wouldn't care, you know. I wouldn't be craving this. I have peanut butter. I can eat that. But this is really good. Um, I'm going to give it an A. It's most excellent. These guys um, are doing a lot of interesting beers. I mean, yeah, beer has jumped the shark. It's all about flavored beer and bull, you know, bull honk now. But um, within the context of a degraded beer world, <laughs> The degraded <clears throat> beer world, the battle of the network stars that we work in, the Joni Ludge loves Chachi environment. Um, the pink lady and all of that. You know. It's pretty good. So Laissez Les Bon Temps Roulet, a good beer within its wayward class and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans darling